Welcome to Euronews' 360-degree experience, and we're here for the end of the Rosetta mission. I'm in Darmstadt in Germany at the European Space Agency's Operations Centre, where all the action is going to happen over the course of Friday as this really important mission comes to an end. So if the guests here could just introduce themselves. Uh, good uh, afternoon to everybody. I'm Sylvain Lodio. I'm the Rosetta Spacecraft Operations Manager. I'm Jocelyne Lando. I'm the Head of Communication. Gerhard Schwem, I was the project scientist from the beginning of the project till 2006, and I was from the launch till close to the wake up of the mission, I was mission manager. Sylvan, talk us through what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, the, um, we are sending commands right now as we speak to the spacecraft. Uh, they contain a, a maneuver uh, which will be executed later uh, tonight, and this will put us in collision course uh, with, the, with the comet. So. So what, when do you actually kind of expect that collision to happen? The, the planned uh, impact time, Darmstadt local time, ground time is 11.20 tomorrow, uh, sorry, 13.20 uh, local time, so 11.20 UTC. Okay. Tell us about the PR operation, Jocelyn. What's going to be happening there? Well, I think we keep the fascination very high. Uh, we've had loads of journalists following the mission. Uh, actually turning in love with the mission, which was uh, really nice. And we have two parts. We have a, an explanation on the science side of it, which is the most fascinating side of it, uh, for the whole afternoon today. And then tomorrow we'll experience live the last minutes in the descent and the collision course actually uh, onto the comet. And Gerhard, tell us a little bit about the science. We're coming to the end of the science gathering part of this mission. Tell us how significant is this moment. Yeah, we are at the end of the science gathering, and uh, the mission brought so much new data. We have so many measurements, a few interpretations already, but we have to say it's source for a lot of work. You know, we, I think we achieved what we wanted to achieve in the beginning. We want to learn about the early stages of the solar system. We got data on this composition of the comet, surprising there that there is really very old material that must have been there, right from the molecular clouds. We have these fascinating images, and even these images show us how dif uh, different, the different areas of the comet are, but they also teach us something on how the comet formed. And I think it's fascinating. There are so many data. And I want to make one sentence. You know, I have heard from so many of my colleagues. They got so many data, much more than expected. And I think if a scientist says that, ESA has done it right. It sounds really exciting. Is there, are there going to be a few tears, do you think, tomorrow, Sylvain, uh, with the way this ends? Yeah, it's, it's very likely. I mean, this is a, we've worked all so much on this mission, we've spent nights with Rosetta. So, of course, it's going to be a, an emotional moment. But also, it's. Um, to the end of a fascinating adventure, so yeah, there'll be some joy as well. Jocelyn, you've been behind a really impressive PR campaign and communication activity around this mission. Um, have you kind of prepared special things for the end of it because you had this wonderful dialogue between Rosetta and Philae back in 2014? Have you got kind of special tweets that you're getting ready to send? Yes, uh, we have a full team of social media people who will be, in work, will be working and just giving the impression that everybody's with us, uh, informing a lot. We have prepared a few things like you know, signing of the panels for the teams. Uh, we have prepared a little bit of champagne and some paper tissues as well, you know, because <laughs> we'll be in between these feelings. Mm -hmm. And I think it will not be, it will be the first time where uh, this, uh, our guests will be probably as affected as we will be with the end of the mission of the operation, but not the end of science. So it's the uh, end of an era, but also the continuation of science. So we'll look forward to the future. Yes, a final word on the science. Yeah. This is the end of the operational part of the mission. It's not the end of the science. No, right? this is the end of the operational part of the mission. Little science was done. I think much more will be done over the next decade. There's a lot of things to be done, and now the teams and others have to work together. You know, it's not a little niche you work. Now the big picture has to come together, and I think they have a wealth of data where they can work on, and they, they will. And I, I think in the end it was a great mission, and, you know, being there from early 30 years ago, it's really fantastic what the teams made. It's a, we did it, and it, everybody including, and I think my dear friends here from uh, ESOC, and I, we have to say they did a great job to navigate the spacecraft around the comet. It's really great. Marvellous. Thanks, everybody, and thanks for watching. You can carry on and follow all of this event live as it happens on Euronews.